Hello, this is day 225 of Bible in one year and our Bible text, Psalms chapters 87 to 88 and then Romans chapter 13. So let's start with the prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings, the trials. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to grow. Thank you for this life, for salvation, and for the wisdom. Help us, Lord, to understand your word, your messages as we read the Bible today. Enlighten us, O oh Lord, and pray that I would also forgive our sins and um, help us to overcome our weaknesses. And Lord, we pray that you continue to guide us every day of our lives. Thank you, Lord. You see, in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, so Psalms chapter 87. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Selah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon. To them that know me, behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count, when he writeth up the people, that this man was born there, Selah. As well the singers as the players and instruments shall be there, all my springs are in thee. Psalms chapter 88 O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I am as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain, that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy, head, thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves, Selah. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction, Lord. I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee, Selah? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord. And in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am disrupted. Thy pierced wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They can pass me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness. Now go to Romans chapter 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore you must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their Jews tribute, to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any, 
other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high high time to awake out of sleep, for now it is our for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make that provision for the flesh to fulfill the loss thereof. Alright, we're done with the Bible reading for today. So for the reflection or something to share, um, I think I'd like to focus on uh, two conflicting things. I think uh, from what we've read in Psalms 87 to 88, um, I think there were a few questions there, right? Um, if you do something good, would you, I mean, do you have to do it um, without letting others know or do you do it to let others know? Okay, so there are two things there and I think the most important part is your intention. Why do you want others to know that you are doing something good? Right? I last saw a, fa a Facebook uh, post and uh, you know, essentially there's this guy doing a good thing but again there are people that are not pleased because um, of course it, they captured it in the video and they're thinking that they only did it for the views right? they only did it to become famous or something but of course there's that other thought that if you do good the only reason or I think the correct reason for you to share it to others is for them to be um, to be inspired as well or for to encourage them to do good as well. I think that's the only correct intention for doing doing it like if you do good and you want others to know you should want to show others that you did something good. You don't do it for fame. You don't do it to be known. You don't do it to you know become famous. You do it because you want others to be encouraged as well to do something good, right? But of course, it's kind of, you know, conflicting or counter, what do you call that? Not exactly counterproductive, but anyway, something like that. It counters the original intention when some people perceive it in a negative light, uh, even though that is not really his intention to become famous or whatnot. Um, some people would, you know, would doubt it. Some people can't help thinking that it's like that, so... There is that. So sometimes, you know, it's better to do good um, secretly, but of course there are times that you can't help but share it with others because, you know, you feel blessed doing uh, that good thing, helping others, but still not everyone is going to appreciate it. So, uh, so there would always be someone who would question your intention or motivation for doing so. So there is that. But, you know, as long as you know what your real motivation is god knows what your real motivation is so um as long as it's correct then you're fine right so that's just my opinion the matter all right so i guess that's it for this one again this is day 225 of bible in one year and we've read psalms chapters 87 to 88 and romans chapter 13 thank you and god bless